Anti-gay law battle now goes to Supreme Court Monday, April 15, 2024. Lawyers representing the petitioners ahead of the Constitutional Court ruling on April 3, 2024. Photo, Reuters. By Anthony Wesaka and Precious Delilah What You Need to Know. The aggrieved appellants have raised 17 grounds of appeal against the ruling of the Constitutional Court. Thank you for reading Nation. Africa Show Plans. The controversy surrounding the Anti-Homosexuality Act, 2023 seems not to be over as 22 aggrieved gay activists have petitioned the highest appeal court in the land, the Supreme Court. In their notice seen by this publication, the aggrieved appellants have raised 17 grounds of appeal against the ruling of the Constitutional Court that they want the Supreme Court to resolve. Take notice that the above-named petitioners, being dissatisfied with part of the decision of the Honorable Justices Richard Budira D.C.J. and Jeffrey Kriyabwyer, Muzamiru Mutangula Kibidi, Monica Kalyagira Mugeni and Christopher Gashirabek given at the Constitutional Court of Uganda sitting at Kampala on the third day of April 2024, intend to appeal to the Supreme Court of Uganda at Kampala, against part of the decision, reads in part the appeal notice filed at the weekend. The appellants are MP Fox Odoi Oiwiloo, Frank Mugisha, Pepe Anzima, Jacqueline Kemigisha, Andrew Mwenda, Linda Mutsi, Kintu Nyago, Jane Nazimwa, Professor Sylvia Tamali, Dr. Buzingye Kabumba and Salome Nakawizi Kimbugwe. Others are Kasha Jacqueline Nabajazera, Richard Smith Lusimbo, Eric Endala, William Apako, Human Rights Awareness and Promotion Forum, HRAPF, Robert Rutaro, Musum Alex Martin, Mutabi Edward, Nabuyanda John Solomon, Let's Walk Uganda Limited, and Bishop James Lubega Banda. But the appellants in their notice of appeal filed electronically are opposed to the holding that the Anti-Homosexuality Act, 2023 was not passed in violation of Article 92 of the Constitution, that the private member's bill introducing the Anti-Homosexuality Act, 2023 did not violate Article 93 AA 2 of the Constitution, and that there was meaningful and adequate participation of the public during the enactment. Key Issues Further, they are opposed to the holding that the conduct of the Speaker of Parliament while enacting the Anti-Homosexuality Act, 2023, was not inconsistent with, and in violation of Articles 2, 1, and 2, 89, 1, and 2, of the Constitution. Also in their Notice of Appeal, the appellants wrap the Justices of the Constitution Court for handling matters that had not been canvassed by the parties, thereby arriving at a wrong decision, failing to properly evaluate the evidence on the court record, relying on inadmissible evidence, and relying on hearsay evidence on recruitment of children into homosexuality. On April 3, a panel of five justices led by Deputy Chief Justice Richard Budira, in a unanimous decision, largely upheld the anti-homosexuality law for being in line with the values in the constitution of the land. Among the untouched parts of the law is the provision on aggravated homosexuality punishable by death by hanging. Having held as we have in the body of this judgment, we respectfully decline to nullify the Anti-Homosexuality Act, 2023 in its entirety as has been sought by the petitioners under paragraphs A, B, and C above, neither would we grant a permanent injunction against its enforcement as invited to do under paragraph D, ruled Deputy Chief Justice ruled on behalf the five justices. Struck down. However, the same justices struck down four provisions of the same law for offending the Constitution. In their over 200-page judgment, the justices nullified sections of the law that had criminalized the letting of premises for use for homosexual purposes, the failure by anyone to report acts of homosexuality to police, and the engagement in acts of homosexuality by anyone, which results in the other person contracting a terminal illness. Furthermore, Section 14 in its entirety has been adjudged to infringe on the right to health, privacy, and freedom of religion. The right to privacy in this context is recognized under Article 12 of the UDHR and Article 17, 1, of the ICCPR, while the right to freedom of religion is encapsulated in Article 2 grams, 1, c, of the Constitution, ruled the justices. Adding, the upshot of our judgment is that this consolidated petition substantially fails with the following orders. A. Sections 3, 2, C, 9, 1, 1, 2, XD, and 14 of the Anti-Homosexuality Act, 2023 do not pass constitutional muster and are hereby struck down.
The annulled Section 3 2 C defined aggravated homosexuality as the crime where the person against whom the offense is committed contracts a terminal illness as a result of the sexual act. Likewise, Section 9 of the Act, which was also nullified, provided that a person who knowingly allows any premises to be used by any person for purposes of homosexuality or to commit an offense under this Act, commits an offense and is liable, on conviction, to imprisonment for a period not exceeding seven years. Speaking to this newspaper last week on whether the government will appeal against the four provisions that the court struck down for being unconstitutional, Attorney General Kriyawa Kiwanuka said they were still studying the ruling before making up their decision. The government has up to later this week to cross appeal if interested. Background the anti-homosexuality bill was tabled early last year by Bugiri Municipality MP Asuman Basalirwa following a public outcry on the recruitment of school-going children into acts of homosexuality. Following the passing of the law, the same has since attracted a huge backlash from Western countries, with some withholding aid to Uganda.